So tell me, what did you do with the OPC money? What happened with that project? That project has been absolutely brilliant, Dan. Uh, first of all, it was a child protection project. It wasn't originally what the OPC wanted to do, but in the end, because it was money that was earmarked for child protection, they decided to do this child protection activity. It ended up that the best way to do it was to try to find out where the children mostly need uh, where, and they found uh, about 100, about 70, 75 children in camps in Sikisalai, the poorest part of, of Port of France, that were not going to school and that were had not gone to school this year. So they decided to do this one uh, two-month activity with the children, trying to provide them with schooling or prepare them, prepare them to go back to school, to give them two hot meals per day, give them recreational activities, and then give them kind of cultural activities like from uh, music lessons to theater to um, uh, dance uh, classes. So what was the impact of this? The impact is that according to everyone that participated in this project, the children are not the same children as they were two months ago. Originally, when they first came, some of them did not even have clothes on their backs. They came with just their underwear, no shoes, uh, light in their hair, just a very, 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 very poor condition. Uh, now, yesterday, which was the last day of this uh, project, you could not recognize, according to everyone that was there at the beginning, tell that they were not the same children. They were lively children uh, with full well-fed, very, very happy, very, very active. Uh, they played a bunch of songs with instruments that were provided by the project. They danced, they sang, they recited poetry, and um, they received a bunch of gifts, not just from the OPC and the Project Tree, but they also received a bunch of gifts from the Jordanian Battalion of Minister. This was such a nice part of the event yesterday because apparently uh, when the project started, uh, the police station, local police station in Secret Delay, provided them with their conference room and two tents to be able to conduct these classes for the children every day on a daily basis. And the Jordanian battalion that is based also in Secret Delay, but in many other parts of Port-au-Prince, fell in love with the children. And so the commander of the Jordanian battalion yesterday came with a bunch of toys for the children. It's not even the first time because they had already given out toys once before. And in the process of, of closing this project yesterday, they invited all of the children and all of the educators and the OPC to the battalion to the Jordanian camp next week for one of the traditional Jordanian meals. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Dan.